So the thing that we come across most are people saying, I don't have the time. It's almost a cliche now. And the thing I really hate about this expression is that it is totally false. Time is not something you have, nor does it even exist. Time is a man-made construction. So instead of saying, I don't have the time, what you need to replace that with is, it's not a priority right now for me. And then you see how that fits with you. Because if having financial freedom isn't something that's a priority for you, or if feeling accomplished that you've grown a business from the ground upwards or being able to take three months a year holiday from your job that you only work three hours a day on anyway if those are things that aren't a priority for you then that's fine you're gonna say it and you're gonna feel it in your stomach that's what I like to do so for instance if I say to myself I haven't got the time to meditate whew, easy I take all responsibility away from that situation but really it's kind of like saying I don't have the rain it's like saying time is this resource that is given to us and there's only a finite amount of it and that I must wait for the heavens to open and pour all this time upon me and eventually you know when I've got an abundance of time stored up in a sack I'll then be able to dish it out a little bit more freely it's not gonna happen like that you don't have time to utilize you already are are using time so it's just how you maneuver your day around the hours that you are alive so by saying to yourself rather than I don't have the time like it's a resource like it's given to you like you have no personal power over it you have to say to yourself this is not a priority for me right now so if I say to myself meditation isn't a priority for me right now I feel that in my belly like I'm like oh that doesn't feel right I get this kind of like I'm not being truthful to myself. I'm not aligned with myself. And then what I can say is, that doesn't make me feel good. The whole point of like going through new experiences or developing a business or working hard to achieve something is to feel good. The whole point of everything is to try and feel happy and satisfied. If you're not happy or satisfied by saying, setting up a business to give myself financial freedom isn't a priority right now, then you should address that because you're never gonna have more time. Time is not something for you to collect. It's something that you can leverage. So by shifting your priorities around, you can utilize your time more effectively. So for instance, at particular busy periods of my life, I like to eat healthily. I like to prepare fresh food. I like to you know, spend time cooking. But when I've got a lot going on, I have to prioritize, okay, what would I rather do? Spend less time working on creating content, less time working on my AdWords campaigns, less time working on my YouTube scripts or whatever versus do I spend less time cooking? And I've then been able to prioritize and navigate my way around this by saying, okay, so there's this business called Cook and there's a shop that's not too far down the road from me and it's all home cooked food that's blast frozen so that there's no preservatives and there's not an excess of sugar to keep it, you know, good for longer. So I have to make that shift in that priority, say to myself, okay, this isn't going to be as tasty or as healthy or as fresh as a freshly cooked home meal is going to be, but it does save me about an hour or two a day of cooking. So I'm like, I can, I can deal with that because it does, you know, there, I can choose vegetarian options and healthy options and low calorie options. So it really reduces, and not just the cooking time as well, the shopping time and, you know, all the admin that goes around food is such a bloody pain. But I'm happy during periods of my life, which I feel like I don't have enough time, I'm able to prioritize that and leverage time in a more effective way. Also, perhaps you can get your partner to help you cook or, I don't know, teach your children finally how to cook because it's about time the buggers pulled their weight. Think creatively. I can't solve all your problems, but for instance, if cooking is something that takes a lot of time up. Also, um, just another tip as well. I also have Huel shakes. Uh, these have all of your vitamins and minerals in one shake. They're not the best tasting. You can get vanilla flavored, but it's a really good way to quickly eat your breakfast and get all your vitamins and minerals. You know, I probably wouldn't recommend it for a long-term substitute, but whilst you're going through periods of, you know, a lot of stuff to do, it's probably a good, a good substitute.